Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. The Israelites have been scattered across the four corners of the earth, as prophesied in Deuteronomy, the 20th chapter. Here in Israel, united in Christ, we need your help to recover the remnant of our people, teach them the gospel. Please help us, support us, and join or donate to the Booster Club today. Shalom. Two thousand years after the departure of Jesus the Christ. The prophets are back to teach the real Jews, the twelve tribes of Israel, their true nationality. This is their campaign.
don't be long hair. You're gonna treat us like we in jail or something. Okay. Nah, bro, I'll leave that. Okay. Now, God is saying, and I'm gonna give you a message with the Bible. God is saying we don't belong here in America. We don't belong here. This is not our country. It's in the Holy Bible. Right. Let's right. read it. Mike, two and ten. Come on. Arise ye in the port. Wait. Read that again. Arise ye in the port. What does God say? Arise ye and depart. What is he saying? Arise you and depart. What does he say? What does that mean? Depart, leave. It doesn't mean leave literally. It means leave America spiritually. Right. Arise ye, repent, learn who you are, learn your nation, learn your tribes, learn your laws, learn your culture, right. and depart. Depart from what? American ideology. Depart from Christmas. Right. Depart from Halloween. Right. Right. Depart from right. birthday, right. from Mother's Day, right. from Father's Day. Depart from all of that and what? And depart, for this is not your ass. For what? For this is not your ass. America is not your rest. Not I'm not, I'm not, what does it mean to point there for and be a rest? Why? He did not say America. Give me that, I'm gonna show you. America is not in the Bible. Right. But America has, made, God has many adjectives for America. Okay. We're gonna read one, one of them all. Okay. Matter of fact, get me, what you got? No, no, get me through the line. America is also called Egypt, again, in the Bible. The key America word is called Egypt again. Egypt again. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna tell you, Dylan, listen. Today is World History 101 yeah. for the black man. Where are you from, buddy? Diane, okay, I heard your accent. Okay, where you from, brother? Uh, from here. Okay, your, your, your father, your father, you were born and raised here? Okay, now, I'm going to show you in the Bible. Sis, you can listen up as well. Sister with the braids, you can listen up. Now, we're going to show you that America has different adjectives. You, know, you will never read the name America in the Bible. Right. Let's read one of the names of America. Deuteronomy 28, start at verse 15. Deuteronomy 28, verse 15. Come on. But it shall come to pass, thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. If the blacks and Latinos on this list, if they did not listen to the laws of God, read. If thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments uh -huh. and his statutes, which are commanded in this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake all these what? Curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. All these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. For us to be in America is a curse. I'm going to show you Egypt is called America in the Bible. Give me verse 68. Come on. 68. Okay. The Lord shall listen, bring thee listen. into Egypt again with ships. What did God say? And bring thee into Egypt again with ships. And the Lord God will bring thee, will bring thee into Egypt again with ships. Does that look familiar to you? What do you see here on this poster board? What do you see? What do you see, brother? And what do you see? Who's in the ship? Well, people, I guess, people. Wait, wait, when you say people, you, you say that uh, nonchalantly. What kind of people are on the ship? What kind of people are on the ship? Look closely. Black people. They look like you and I, right? We that part again? And the Lord shall bring thee to Egypt again with ship. Okay, now, do you know biblical history a little bit? When Moses and Israel coming out of Egypt, right? We left physical Egypt of North Africa, right? But God said you will go back to Egypt again with ships. My question to you, brothers, how did black people come to America? Ah, so what, and where did we go? Where did we come to? Here, Here called what? America. What did God call it? Egypt, again, with ships. Egypt, again. What is God calling America in the Bible? Egypt. What is God calling America in the Bible? Egypt. He said Egypt again. Read it again. The Lord shall bring thee to Egypt again with ships. Uh -huh. By the way, wherever I speak unto thee, uh -huh. thou shalt see it no more again. Thou shalt see it no more, meaning you won't see your homeland, Jerusalem. Hold on. And there, you shall be sold unto your enemies. Wait, we shall what? Be sold unto your enemies. What's going on here? What does it say 
Ходи. And then, you shall be sold unto your enemies. Then you shall be sold unto your enemies. For bond men, slave men, and bond women, slave women. And no man shall bond. No man would save us. So what is God talking about? Slavery. Where did slavery occur? In America. What did God call it? Egypt again. Yes, that ships. That's where you're wrong. How, okay. Okay. Oh, hold on. okay. 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 I let you talk. Wait. As if forty before. When we were slaves to the white men, we were we were slaves to each other. Oh Lord have mercy. Is that so? No, that's fact. Okay, I know where you're going with this. You're saying black people sold black people, right? You're saying Africans sold each other, right? That's what you're saying, right? No, no. Before the white man, that's what you're saying. That's the history that you're talking about. I didn't say, I'm not saying we sold each other. So we were we were slaves with with our, ourselves. So you're saying we enslaved each other? We, we fought, we fought, before if there was a white man, we fought each other. Before we even got to fight. Lord, Lord, have mercy. I see where this is going. Uh, give me that. Uh, Isaiah, you got it? 4121. Let me show you something. Isaiah, 4121. Uh -huh. okay. Produce your coat. Okay. We, go ahead. Save the Lord. Bring forth your strong reason. Save the king of Jacob. Okay, so God is saying, bring forth your your cause. Show us why America is not the Egypt again that we just read about. Based on biblical scripture and world history. I'm going, no, you can't see that. See, that's where the confusion comes in. Mm. You cannot, what you're saying is 100% true. So I can't, is I can't, Egypt no, America listen. in the Bible? I let you talk. Now, let me ask you this question. Is America, when, when God says it's like Egypt, Egypt it's again? Like Egypt. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, it's like Absolutely. Egypt. But what I'm trying to say is you, to you, is you cannot mix our history with the Bible. You cannot do that. Really? You can't do that. Because just read no, black listen, history no, in no, the Holy Bible. No, you did not. We did. We not no, just read you slavery. Did not. We didn't read. We didn't just read slavery. Can, <laughs> Is slavery not in? Did we not just read it in the Bible? I can. What's your name, brother? What's your name, by the way? My name is Ezekiel. What's your name, Charles? Charles. Did we not you read before slavery you, in the Bible? Yes, you just. He said it. Yeah. So but that's our he history not, in the Bible. He was not talking about a color. Oh. Okay. He was not talking about a color. Bring it out. My fourteen two. So what you thinking? Here's the thing. I know where this is going. You're saying a lot. First of all, you were saying we sold each other, so you're thinking all nations, all places are the same. I didn't say that. Now, now you're saying it's not a color. What, what, what we have to understand is the Israelites that were sold into slavery were black people. The Jews are black people. Scripture. Let's get the scripture. Me, no, that there were black. Let's not, not that we there were. We don't get it. That there were black. We're gonna get it right now. Sis, stay tuned. I want all y'all to listen and understand and hear this thing that black people, the Israelites of the Bible, were black men and women. Yes. Say, all right, Charles. Listen. Here we go. I'm listening. Jeremiah 14 and 2. Listen. Through the morning and the gates thereof language. Uh huh. They are black. Unto the ground. What did God say Judah is? They are black. Unto the ground. What color are the Jews? They are black. Unto the ground. I want you to read that. Hold up. Charles. What are we reading? Charles. Hold on, hold on. Charles. Hold on. Listen, Charles. Bring it out. Hold on, no, no, The Holy I'm Bible. That. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that. I'm not but what did we just read? Give me that scripture again. Jeremiah chapter 14 and verse 2. Jeremiah 14. Jeremiah 15. And 14 I said 14, and 2. 14 verse 2. Jeremiah 14 2. Hold on. Hold you on. got a Bible app there? Yes, I do. Sir. Read along with us. Jeremiah the same Bible we got is the same 14. one you got. Uh, it's okay. We're going to cast out all disobedience. We're going to cast everything down to the obedience of Christ today. King James Version, right? That's what you got? Uh, yeah, yeah, yes, sir. Yes, okay, sir. read it to us. What you got? What you got there? Read it. What you got? I don't know. What you got? What you got? Read it. Jeremiah okay. 14 to KJV. Judah morning uh -huh. and the gates thereof lang uh -huh. language. 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 Uh -huh. They are black unto the ground. So what color is Judah? Because look at this list. What is, look at the list right there. What does it say? Judah. Black. Okay, and who are they? American black. Oh. Oh, we got, so wait a minute. What color is the Jews? The Bible says they are black unto the ground. Oh, this the right, black. Right. Okay. Not Listen, listen, listen. He said they are black unto the ground. He didn't say they are black. 
Oh, he Lord, said they're black. Like, okay. Okay. You ever heard of King Solomon in the Bible? Our people are crazy. What color was King Solomon? A Jew. I by don't the way. know. Okay. Well, guess what? We're gonna find out today what color he is. We're gonna get your education. Today. Okay. Okay. Give me Song of Solomon. Start it. Uh, verse one, then jump to five. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Go ahead. Go ahead. Matter of fact, you have an extra Bible. I want to find. No. 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 Song of Solomon, chapter 1, verse 1. I want you to follow along. Okay. Brothers and sisters, we're reading the Holy Bible, and we're finding out the color of our forefathers in the Bible. Okay, Let's go. okay. Song of Solomon, chapter 1, verse 1. Okay. Come on. Song of Solomon, one and one. Come on. The Song of Songs, which is Solomon. Aha, uh -huh. the uh -huh. Song of Songs, which is Solomon. Okay. Now jump to verse five. Verse five. I am black, but come. Wait a minute. What did King Solomon say? I am black, Relax. but come. Oh, whoa. Whoa, oh, whoa. Yeah, I don't see that in here. Verse five. Oh, verse five. Verse five. Oh, I don't see that. Uh, read it again for me. Verse okay. five. He, was a he Jew. said, I'm black. He okay, didn't what say color was he black. What color was he then? He was <laughs> What color was King Solomon? Black. It says it. Thank I, I, you. He said now, he was black. Okay. He what didn't about, say we about, was black. What about oh, the Bible says Judah's black unto the ground? Judah. Unto. Judah. Unto. Judah is short form for Jew. Unto. He didn't black. say. What does it mean, unto? Meaning like. We are like, dark like the it soil. Is. We are dark like the soil. That's a dark skinned people. That's you can't right. get nothing else out of that. Black. You understand now? Who heard about Paul in the Bible? You know about Paul? Yeah, I, know. Yeah, I read the Bible. What? Every day. Okay, so if you read the Bible every day, how many don't know the color of the Jews up until today? Huh? Because you have not read what because understanding. Because it's not about the color. No, the color it don't is. matter. That it is to a part. No, and they because to no part. part. Here's why. When we read the Bible, we read it with white people in mind. No, we read it with I this don't. guy. I know. Yes, you do. Because if you're not reading it with dark unto the ground, then, then what other but what other ideologies in because your mind? The, re the reason why I it's tell white you. folks. That's what's no. in your mind. I'm I'm I'm, 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 I'm gonna give you knowledge now. No, 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 I'm I don't sorry, read. Sorry. I don't not, read the Bible. Hold on, brother. I'm gonna tell you something. I don't read the Bible for a color. Here's the thing. God said, when we read me in we, spirit now, and in truth. Okay, now what did God, color okay, now, no, hold on, now what did God, now what does it mean to worship in spirit and in truth? What does that mean? You know, what, is, what is the spirit? What does it mean? I'm asking you. What does it spirit, mean? Spirit, not in flesh. Spirit. Let's get that for When you're right. in spirit, let's get that for him. There's no, there's no flesh involved. Let's get it for him. They that worship me, worship me in spirit and in truth. Uh-huh. Oh, Lord, let, let, me, let me tell you something. You have met the most high sent you to teach you to teach you today. Ooh, you, not, we are the teacher. Not God sent. God sent. We are God sent. No, yeah, I'm right. a, we're not God sent? No. Huh? John 420. John 420? Now hold John 424. Get me Isaiah 30. Hold that. Give me Isaiah 30. Because what you gotta understand, Charles, is we are God sent. You know what? If we were white folks standing up here preaching what God, you would have definitely that God sent you. We're gonna say it right now. Give me Give me Isaiah 30. Give me scripture that God sent you. Isaiah chapter 30. Find it. Isaiah chapter 30. Bring it up. 20. Bring it up. We're going to show our people today that God has sent prophets to the, to the chief place of concourse for you people, for our people, the Israelites. Right. We are sent by the Lord. That's this is right. not Christianity. This is the gospel. Give me Isaiah 30 and 20. Isaiah 30 and 20. Come on. And know the Lord give you the bread of adversity. Because our people have gotten much adversity here in America. Read. The black man especially. And the black woman. Read. In the world of affliction. Uh-huh. Yet shall not thy teachers be removed into a corner anymore. So wait a minute. God is saying with all the affliction black and Latinos have gone through, God says the teachers will not be hid anymore. Right. Read on. But thine eyes shall see thy teachers. But what? Thine eyes shall see thy teachers. Wait a minute, Charles. Pay attention. God said, thine eyes will see thy teachers. Now, get 
me that in the chief point. Uh, drop that. Get me the chief place of concourse. One verse twenty. Now here's the thing. The chief place of concourse. What does that mean? The Israelites. We are going to teach where our people are. Right. Our people run rampant on Parsons and Archers. Right. And God sent us here, the chief place of concourse, to teach God's people repentance. That's right. Brother Charles, what you're going to understand, you can shake your head as long as you like, sister. What you got to understand is we are God sent. Right. We are God sent. Wisdom cries without. Come on. She uttered her voice in the streets. She cried in the chief place of concourse. Read it again. She cried in the chief place of concourse. Wait, no. It's from the top. Wisdom cries without. Now, when it says wisdom crying, what is wisdom? The Holy Bible. That's wisdom. And God says it cry. You know what it means to cry? Speak loud to the people. That's what we're doing. Read that again. Wisdom cries without. Come on. She utters her voice in the street. She uttereth her voice. She uttereth her voice in the street. It says she. She, because wisdom is compared to as a woman. That's it right. is hip talk in the Bible. It's hip talk or what God calls Proverbs. Read that again. Wisdom cried without. Uh -huh. She uttereth her voice in the street. She, the Bible, she uttereth her voice in the street. It's parable talk. You talking about the Bible? It's parable Bible is talk. Shit. It's wisdom. Wisdom is compared to as a woman. Sit tight can you read stand Jeremiah there and listen. 23, no, because I'm still reading Proverbs. After stand that, there and listen. What you want what you gotta do is stand there and listen because you know absolutely nothing. No, because y'all not, You're not God saying up y'all yeah, saying. We're back in everything. I'm right. I can I can agree. I can agree we're with that. No, I'm not God saying. But you have to have you have I can to have tell you that to God listen. told me his God didn't tell his you word. God told you to stand there and be quiet and listen. Why you That's can't read why you can't read Jeremiah twenty three? She cried in the chief place of God. You know what Jeremiah twenty three is? God says she Quiet in the chief place of Congress. You know what Jeremiah 23 what is? is the, no, what is the chief place you know of Congress? I'm asking you a question. We're going to get to Jeremiah in a minute. Jeremiah, what does it mean, the chief place of Congress? You tell me. No, no, I'm asking you. I'm not playing semantics. I don't know. You tell me. Okay, Mr. Bible Man, you don't know all these questions I'm asking. You don't know. Because I read the wrong. You don't the Bible. know. You I read the wrong. This is the wrong. This is the wrong. The same Bible that God you tells read you. The you won't read Jeremiah the Jews. 23. We read you, you black people of the Jews. You're not reading Jeremiah 23. You still don't understand. We're reading, we're reading Proverbs that God says wisdom cried in the chief place of concourse. You what is the chief are... place of concourse? I'm asking you again. History what the is the chief you cannot place of do concourse? That. You are confusing yourself and you try the to confuse We just others. showed you slavery in Deuteronomy 28. That's black history. Anybody can do slavery. Nobody can white, show it to you. White people can slave you like that. people. Black Where people can slave you. Come on. She uttered her voice in the streets. Uh -huh. She cried in the chief place of concourse. The chief place of concourse, so you can understand, is our people's neighborhood. No, people can the chief. The only one to slave people. They enslaved us to the biggest No, they did not. All the nations. We I'm did it to you. ourselves Give first. Me Give me Daniel. Give me Daniel. We did it to ourselves first. What you gotta first. understand is slavery of the 1600s, 1700s, 1800s, oh. that this was the biggest crime on the face of the earth. This is the biggest crime and the Bible is gonna tell us it's the biggest crime. Bring it out. Let's get the script. Why you can't give me Jeremiah 23 now? Be quiet and listen and learn. Exactly. How about that? How about you try that? Did not see Come on. Day 9 and 12. Come on. We have confirmed his words. How did God confirm his words? With slavery. Even today you go to Manhattan, they got the African burial ground of our people, our forefathers, forced to work as young as three, four, five years old. We're forced to work, whether as, as a youth or as an aged man, as an old man or woman. Read that again. They have confirmed his word. Come on. Which he spake against us and against our judges. Uh -huh. And judged us. Come on. By bringing upon us a great evil. What did God bring upon our people, the Israelites? A great evil. A what? A great evil. God brought upon us a great evil for not obeying his laws. Read. For under the whole heaven. For under the whole heaven, meaning all, for, on, for under the earth. Read have not been done as have been done upon Jerusalem. So God is saying there is no evil that has been done quite like the evil that has been done unto Jerusalem. That's right. And what you got to understand is Jerusalem is a people before it is a place. That's right. We are Jerusalem. You blacks, you lot 
Latinos, whether you uh, whether you take it or not, we are Jerusalem. Can That's you right. give me uh, like you did earlier? I guarantee you, you won't give me that bike right now and let me read Jeremiah no. 43. We, you're not gonna read Jack. What exactly. you gonna do is you're gonna stand there, you're gonna listen. Know. You're gonna stand God there not and you. listen. God sent the prophet. He sent you. Give me that. Give me that. He sent you. Uh, I can give you Bible that he didn't send you in Jeremiah. Give me that. Give me, that. Give me the mic. No, no, go ahead. Give me that. Exactly. Jeremiah, I mean, first Corinthians 4, wisdom. Exactly. Why, he, why he, won't be, yes. he, he tried to offer me the mic earlier, yes, but he won't it. give it to me now. First Corinthians 4 and 9. God for, sent him. for I think that God has sent forth us, the apostles last. Read that again. Yeah, God sent him, right? God, um, what did God say? Yeah, Read God that again. I need y'all to pay attention. What did God say? Read. I, I think that God has sent us the apostles last, as it was appointed unto death. For we make we are made a spectacle of the world. Wait, wait, wait. God said He sent the apostles last. Why? Is because Christianity Christianity has failed our people. Christianity has failed our people. Right. Now, what you you're understand? Right. You, what you don't understand about right. Jeremiah? Because Christianity what you, is not in the Bible. Christianity, you're right. Christianity, Christianity is, is not. The Christian is. Yes. Christian. And, and what does it mean to be a Christian? To, to, you mean to suffer like, as Christ. What does it mean to yes, be a Christian? Yes, I do. To suffer like Christ did. The word Christian in the Bible means follower of Christ. I know. Yes, no. Right. Yes, it does. Let's get it. That's Acts right. 11. You got it? Why you Acts 11, Jeremiah 26. 23, 21 first. Let's go. Give me Jeremiah 23, Acts 11, 26. 21 first. Here is what Christian means according Here to the Holy Bible. Come on. Listen. And when he had found it, come on. He brought, up, he brought him, him up to Antioch. And it came to pass. Come on. For the whole year, they assembled themselves with the church and they taught much people. So Come on. And the disciples were called but Christians look, look, look. first in Antioch. Okay, see, Charles. Charles. Yeah, Charles. Yeah, the here's the problem here. I read the Bible. That you see, he, he does not That's understand. Right. Hold on. Here's the problem with our people. We're teaching here on Parsons and Archer. Now, all of a sudden, brothers that don't keep God's commandments know everything. Right. We just read what Christian right. is. And Charles, you have not, you have not heard. No, no, Charles, you're confused. I read the Bible. We asked you, Charles, what does read Christian Jeremiah mean? 23, what does Christian mean? And you have not answered the question. What does Christian mean? I told you. What does it mean? To suffer as Christ. That's not what the Bible says. Let's read what the Bible says. Give me Jeremiah 23, and, 21. And here's the problem with Charles. He's jumping around. No, He's I'm jumping not. around. Let's hear what Christian means in the Bible. This man's and the disciples Come on. were called Christian first in Antioch. Wait, read that. And what are the Christians called? And the disciples were yeah, called Christians pray. first in Antioch. The Bible says the disciples were called Christians first Show me in Antioch. God sent you. What does it mean to be a Christian? Follower of Christ. Right. Remember, said, Christ I'm had jumping. disciples, did he not? I'm jumping. He had disciples. How many disciples? Now, how many disciples? Christ had, he had disciples. He had 12. He disciples. had more than that. But he had many more than that. He had more than that. His circle was 12. <laughs> you understand? Remember, he had sisters that followed him as well. But this, uh, to be a Christian is a follower of Christ. God is now, bro. I'm gonna show you what it means God to be a follower of Christ. Let me free. Let's start it. Numbers. Because I hate when here's the thing. Here's, 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 here's the problem with black and Latino people. You can't use God. Stop using God. Here's the problem. If we were white, if they, we were they, white they like Christians, they use everybody would be standing here with nothing Are to say. Satan is called because it's our own people. It's our own people. Now all of a sudden, everyone is a prophet. Why you I'm gonna show you something. A snake got John 14, 15. John 14, 15. Come on. God, if you love me, use the keep truth. my commandments. Like Wait a minute, Charles, Charles, you're disrupt Charles, you're disrupting the people. They want to learn. What did Christ say to do? They not, you not If you love me, keep my commandments. Read that again. If you love me, keep my commandments. What did God say to do? If you love me, keep my commandments. Christ said, if you love me, keep my commandments. Now, he used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone, 
144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.